Welcome to Ask the Personal Trainer podcast, brought to you by foreverfit.tv, with your host, Nicola Riley, here to help you find real health and wellness. Hey, welcome to Ask the Personal Trainer podcast. I'm Nicola Riley, your online personal trainer, nutritionist, and lifestyle coach. For today's listener question, I've got, hey Nicola, what should I eat for breakfast? Now this is a really simple question, but something that I get asked a lot, and there's different ways that I'd like to answer it. First, the first way thing that you should know that eating a really good quality breakfast is going to set up your behavior for the rest of the day. It's going to help balance out your leptin and your ghrelin hormones, and it's going to help start um, stabilize your blood sugar levels. 30% of the first amount of protein that you eat in your day goes towards your immunity, and making sure that you've got a good protein is going to set you up for great choices throughout your day. So by so by taking this simple approach, it's also going to help set you up for the right choices throughout the rest of your day. And there are different ways that I answer this question, and it all depends on the person that is answering it and the context in which they're answering it. And sometimes people get confused because my answer is not going to be the same for everybody. What I mean by this is that the same piece of advice can be very dependent on what the person's goals are and where the person is at in this in their health journey. For so, so for some people I might say eat meat for breakfast and some nuts and some berries and this is the perfect piece of advice for somebody who might be looking, might be wanting to lose weight, they might be doing weight training and they're wanting to really step it up. However for somebody who's just starting out on a weight loss journey this could be some um, quite a huge step and quite an unrealistic thing for me to say. So For this person, starting off with some eggs or maybe like a green shake or some berries um, could be an an easier and more realistic way for them to start off on their um, fitness journey and it's going to help them make that step in the right directions. Or it may be somebody who's been um, used to having porridge for breakfast or they might be used to having muesli. So then I'm going to step them in more of a homemade muesli mixture sort of thing and I might get them onto like some coconut yogurt. Just transitioning them towards more real food and food that is without the hidden sugar, without the processed foods and just transitioning them in the right direction. And then maybe in a couple of months, I might start to transition them more towards having some smoothies or more towards having like meat or eggs for breakfast. The ideal breakfast is something that is really high in protein. And this is this doesn't mean that I want you go to go have like egg white protein smoothies or um, protein shakes with um, like you know, oats and muesli or whatever, it means that it's real protein. Protein that is meat-based, protein, if you're vegetarian, it means that you're having um, a protein-rich breakfast. So you might be having, if you can tolerate dairy, you might be having some good quality yogurt in there, or you might be having some protein-rich non-gluten grains. Protein is crucial for you to get into your body fills you up for longer, and it makes that you, make it means that you're able to like I mentioned before, just balance out your ghrelin hormone. Ghrelin is the hormone that um, is makes you feel hungry. Leptin is the hormone that makes you feel full. So when you start your day off with a really good quality breakfast, you're balancing out those hormones and you're going to set them up for consistent energy throughout your day. Then, if, So if you're someone who can't, say, tolerate a good, really high-protein breakfast, then you, like eggs might be the simple first step for you to start to take because they're more of a sort of traditional breakfasty kind of food. And so then you might gradually start the progression to having more things like leftover dinner for breakfast. It's always a progression and it always depends on the person answering this question. If you're somebody who's always getting sick or you're somebody who's always busy and um, or you are always getting run down, the simple thing of having a high protein breakfast is pays such a massive dividend towards your immune system. Because so 30% of the protein that you eat for your breakfast goes straight, straight towards your immune function. So if you're not having protein for breakfast and you're having a high sugar breakfast and then you're out doing cardio and you've got a stressful job and you're just constantly running away from the tiger, 
you're going to get sick. Your body's not going to be able to um, keep its immune function working really well and you're constantly always going to feel run down. The other thing as well is if you're always reaching for coffee in the morning and you're having coffee without breakfast and you're spiking your um, blood sugar levels and you're putting sugar in your coffee and then you're reaching for coffee in the afternoon and then having sugar throughout your day or you might start your day with a high sugar breakfast, Again, this is going to affect the natural cortisol rhythms in your day. It's going to affect the way that your body responds to insulin. It's going to affect your leptin levels. It's going to affect the way that your body burns body fat. It's going to make you carb sugar, carb crave carbs throughout your day. And it's just going to affect the whole outcome of your day. So a protein-rich breakfast is nothing new. It's nothing that we haven't been doing for centuries, but with um, conventional nutrition and with um, marketing and media, we've gotten in this mindset that breakfast needs to be muesli, and breakfast needs to be muesli with a cup of orange juice and some high sugar milk. Um, This couldn't be further from the truth, and this couldn't be more so affecting your health as well. So breakfast doesn't need to be eggs, and it doesn't need to be muesli, what it does need to be is high protein. So whether or not, wherever you are in your weight loss journey, it's about making the steps towards the right direction. So if you're coming from, um, like I said, the, the muesli, the orange juice, or the toast with jam situation, then start to make the transition towards having some homemade muesli with um, maybe a boiled egg on the side. Get rid of the sugar and the processed foods out of your diet and just start to make the transition towards similar foods that you're used to, but foods that are more nourishing, foods that are richer in protein, and just start to make the transition towards the right direction. And then when you're ready, you might be ready to make the transition to having eggs for breakfast or you might make the transition to having an amazing piece of meat for breakfast with some nuts or you might simply just love leftover dinner. And for myself, there is no better dinner, no better breakfast than leftover dinner. And for breakfast this morning, I had some mashed broccoli with a glass of kombucha and some kimchi and chicken. So that was my breakfast. So it, breakfast changes every day. It just depends whatever is in the fridge from the night before. And it's always changing. And if I don't have that in there, well, then it's eggs or some um, canned salmon or something along those lines. So it's always changing. It might be a smoothie even. Um, just constantly mixing up. But the number one rule is making sure that it's fuel, it's nourishing, it's delicious, it's got a purpose and it's providing you with good amounts of protein to set yourself up for the day. Hey, I hope that's helped answer your question. Thanks for tuning in. If you have got a question that you would like me to answer on next week's show, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Otherwise, make sure you sign up to my newsletter, join the Forever Fit community, um, get weekly updates to all the latest things that have been happening at Forever Fit, and I will see you really soon for your next episode. Ciao.